Trackside here with uh, top rainsman Colin Brown, who's got a decent book of drives on Monday and Tuesday. Early part of Monday, uh, you've picked up a drive on Swift Diva. He's yet to really trouble the scorers uh, since resuming. Colin, uh, looks a bit tough for him. Yeah, it certainly is, Matt. We, uh, we need all the favours. Second drive is Red Rosalind drawn the inside of the back row. It's uh, not an overly strong field and uh, it's, it's not a bad draw, but first up seventh, uh, you're looking to try and improve on that, obviously. Uh, the trainer certainly is. Um, she's an inexperienced horse that he's got a fair opinion of and uh, we probably made an error by going back at uh, Pinjarra first up and uh, she switched off and done a few things wrong. So um, if John Sangalli's right, a horse, a horse that has got a bit of a future, so keep an eye on her. Next drive, Lombo Supremo's been going really well. Good front runners, won twice leading this campaign. Uh, just keeps finding enough. It's win at Bunbury. Was well, pretty decent. Bumps into the likes of Avalon Bromac, a hoker assassin, uh, Tarseo, Kira Lynn, Washington's Fly. It's quite a nice little field for the eight horses, but you've got the draw. Yeah, it is a great field, Matt. Um, the draw is in our favour, but uh, having driven a hoker assassin, I don't think we can hold him out at the start. I think he'd just have too much speed, and uh, I'd be quite happy to sit on him. There's a sprint lane at Pinjarra, so. Um, you know, that's a real option. Uh, that'll depend on what Bondi wants to do. He, uh, he calls the shots, but um, should definitely finish in the first three. Your next drive, Bounty Air's drawn barrier six over the mile. Typhoon 10's drawn the pole, but uh, hasn't really come back to her best form as of yet. Bounty Air's uh, fourth up in WA. Form's been pretty good. It looks a good race for him. Uh, yeah, it does. If he had to draw more favourably, then uh, I would have been very keen on him, but... Um, yeah, can certainly finish in the money from there, Matt, but uh, wouldn't be declaring. Sandican Lombo in the uh, Trotters race, uh, just sort of running around just off the placings, but n nothing really impressive as of late. He's got the ability, but uh, probably waiting for him to run a little bit better. Yeah, he just hasn't been finishing off in his races, Matt, so uh, yeah, exactly that. We've got to wait, and, uh, wait until he shows a little bit of form. Tuesday, you've got a few runners in yourself and uh, firstly looking at race number two, Franco Talone's been racing uh, quite well without not too much luck and Dusty Delight was a good last start winner and uh, over the longer trips, over the 21.90, Franco Talone in three, which you are driving yourself and your son-in-law, Dylan, is on uh, Dusty Delight, the inside of the back row. How do you see them both going? Yeah, potential son-in-law. <laughs> uh, mate, uh yeah, Franco Talone, I suppose he's been a bit disappointing, um, has got some ability, lacks the yard of speed, but uh, the draw looks good for him. Uh, Dusty Delight certainly turned around. Um, we thought he had before his last run. Um, a horse, you've got to have his head right around the barn every day of the week. He's got to be happy, and uh, he seems to be in that zone at the moment, going on his track work and uh, his eating habits. So he hasn't drawn behind the best horse in the race, but... Um, Certainly if he gets the brakes, he's a chance to finish in the three as well as the other bloke. So a decent push for both of them, just with a little bit of luck for the latter. Uh, race number three, straight after, another two horses in. Uh, She's so fair, good return uh, in a moderate sort of race, but uh, it's good to see her put everything together. And Chook's reward, uh, the old the old timer, he always puts a good race up. He's drawn ten with her daughter Madison on, and She's so fair out in six with yourself on. Cherry Pink and also Tom Henry in the race makes for an interesting race. Uh, both horses have got chances with the right sort of run. Uh, yeah, with the right sort of run, Matt. I uh, can't see him getting it with the draw, but um, uh, the old horse, Madison's in great form in the cart. She's in better form than I am at the moment, so, uh, you know, she could outsteer me. Uh, she's so fair, I've always had an opinion of. She's uh, driven me mad, but um, she's matured. She's come back a different animal around the barn, different horse on the racetrack, so... I expect her to be a metro mare. Um, she'll, she still needs a few runs, but she'll be competitive. And finally, uh, Erskine Range, drawn 12. I'm a peregrine, drawn one, but uh, I'm a peregrine. I don't think he'll be able to get that close to Mac 2 as Erskine Range did. The draw is definitely favourable for the uh, other runner, but Erskine Range, gee, he's really come on this campaign. He's run some massive races. Yeah, he has, Matt. He's, uh, his manners have improved. His ga gait's improved. The horse really wants to be there and uh, he's had five days off since his last run and we've, we've pumped a couple of hobble runs into him and the horse has just really stepped up to the mark very quickly. Uh, yeah, he did only have five days off so you'd expect that. Um, it just looked a nice race as a lead up to the uh, the bigger MO races coming up at Christmas time. But he's, 
he's not far away from his best. Well, that's a decent push for him in the coming weeks and uh, we'll see how he goes on Tuesday. And uh, lastly, just speaking about Madison, such great form. As a dad, you must be so proud of her. She's uh, She took a fair while to get her first win, so close with Chooks Reward at Pinjarra. Painful for me when I backed it, but uh, um, she's just doing such a great job. Kalgoorlie, I mean, there's many a young driver have gone to Kalgoorlie to master their craft and she's excelled in that uh, few months up there massively. You must be very proud. Yeah, I am, Matt. Uh, Lynn and myself both are. Uh, she keeps getting addressed as my daughter, but uh, Lynn certainly had a part in that. Uh, and she's extremely proud of her. She's up at, uh, she drove up to Cal uh, sorry, Kalgoorlie with her today, and they're coming straight home after the meeting. Um, certainly putting in the hard yards. She was at uh, Narragin last night. Um, last week, uh, she had a pretty heavy schedule, and the thing I like about her is she's uh, she's being very patient. She's uh, staying tidy and uh, doing the job. Uh, the aggression will come later on as she she gets a bit more uh, confidence. Not that she isn't confident, but uh, she's a, she's a very confident kid and she'll definitely get there. Oh, it's good to see her getting all the wins. So uh, best of luck tonight and thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Matt.